So just tell us a little bit about your group and, and what you do. Okay, uh, our group is known as the Cobra's Finest. It is the uh, one of the premier G.I. Joe and Cobra costuming groups. Uh, right now, we accept uh, pretty much all Marvel and uh, Hasbro designs for costumes uh, in the Cobra realm. Uh, we're getting ready to start doing G.I. Joe as well. We're changing our charter to be able to bring in both G.I. Joe and Cobra. Uh, my costume is Major Blood. Uh, he's one of the face characters. We have quite a few face characters, Firefly as well. And uh, we also try to get a lot of what we call blue suits or blue troopers, the standard uh, officers and uh, troopers of Cobra, the, basically the nameless, faceless minions of Cobra. And how long have you been doing the G.I. Joe costume? Uh, my husband and I, we actually just started uh, these costumes for Dragon Con last year, was uh, what we were shooting for. And I, is that when you debuted Blood? I'm yeah. trying to remember. Yeah, that's when he debuted Blood. Blood was and, debuted at Dragon Con last yeah, year. Yeah, Dragon Con last year. And it was just, we've been doing the Star Wars costuming for about six years and decided to branch out a little bit and always been a big fan of the genre. And um, tell me a little bit about your costume. Um, I just did a standard Lady J from G.I. Joe. Um, you know, it's very easy to put together and very comfortable, probably the most comfortable costume I have, and I like wearing it. Yeah. Um, are there any challenges to putting together costumes? Like, are there certain things you have to make, custom make yourself? Or uh, most of my costume is custom made. Some of it is um, Army Surplus, which is a great benefit of doing the G.I. Joe and Cobra costuming is the surplus store, uh, but some of the parts are custom made, uh, such as the uh, dynamite pack, uh, all custom made, also these, these airsoft um, weaponry, all airsoft paintball guns, uh, or weapons. How much, and how much just in general usually goes into, in terms of cost, goes into making a costume? It really depends on how elaborate you want to get to the costume and how much you have to buy your speed. You have to buy off the shelf compared to uh, something that you make on your own. Um, they do make a commercial version of the chest and the arm for Major Blood that can cost around two and a half, three hundred dollars helmet and everything. Um, I purchased the helmet, made the chest armor, made the whole arm and everything. So I really only have a few dollars in materials, maybe a hundred dollars uh, for the pants, the, the shirt, and just some of the additional pieces that go on it. Uh, some of them, like uh, I believe the, you can get a blue suit trooper minus the boots and the, the weaponry and everything, uh, but everything to our specs for about 300 which is really cheap in the costuming realm. We are looking at stormtroopers for $1,000 to $1,200. And where can uh, people find you guys if they want to they want to get involved or, or just look at pictures? Or... Cobrasfinest.org, and uh, you can also look up Cobrasfinest on Facebook, and you can get, get in touch with us that way.